Lily, what happened? Why are you crying like this? Mom, I went to Jason's house. And he was with another girl. They were in bed together. What? Are you serious? I can't believe this. I warned you about guys like him. They just use girls and then discard them. I trusted him, mom. I thought he loved me. I never thought he would do this to me. I know it hurts, but you have to see the truth now. He was never serious about you. And now, you have to think about your future. What future? I'm already pregnant, and he has betrayed me. I feel so lost. What about the baby Lily? Did you think about what you are going to do? Have you thought about an abortion? It's my baby. I'm going to keep it. I will raise it on my own if I have to. How can you do that? Society is cruel. No one will want to marry you if they know you have a child without being married. You will go to the hospital and have an abortion. If you don't, I will not be nice about it. I told you, I will not go to the hospital. This is my baby, and I will keep it. Wait until Harry comes home. He will teach you a lesson. First, you sleep with that waiter. Then you get pregnant, and now he has betrayed you. And you still say you will keep the baby? I will not let you keep it. Why don't you understand, Mom? This baby is a part of me. I love it already, and I can't just get rid of it. Love it already? You are ruining your life for a mistake. You are too young to be a mother. I know it's hard, but I'm ready to take on the responsibility. I just need your support. Support? How can I support you when you are making such a reckless decision? This is not about you anymore. It's about our family's reputation. Our family's reputation? What about my happiness? What about this innocent baby's life? Wait for Harry and you will see what he has to say. So, Mr. Barry, you are in love with my daughter. Yes, sir. We love each other very much. And we are studying at the same college. Tell me a little bit about your family. I recently graduated. I don't have a father. He passed away when I was young. It's just me and my mother. You said you recently graduated. Did you find a job yet? What's your future plan? No, I haven't found a job yet. But I'm actively looking, and I'm confident I will find one soon. So, right now you are jobless. You don't have a job. And you don't have a strong family background. How can I give my daughter to a jobless person? Dad, why are you talking to him like this? Eliza, let me speak with him. I'm your father. So, Mr. Barry. Why should I give my daughter into your hands? Sir, I know I don't come from a wealthy family. But I am a hard-working person. I will keep Eliza happy. I love her more than anything. A house cannot be run with just love. Do you even know how much Eliza spends in one month? You love my daughter because of money. You thought you would marry a rich girl and settle down. Dad. This is enough. Barry is not that kind of guy. He never asks for money. I didn't love her because of her money. I love her soul. I don't want your money. I just want Eliza. No, dear. I can't accept this relationship. How can I give my daughter to someone who doesn't have a future? 
Dad, how can you say that? Don't you know I love him? Love alone is not enough Eliza. Barry. You can leave now. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me sir. Barry. Please don't leave. Please listen to me. Father, what have you done? Why did you do this to me? Are you out of your mind Eliza? He has nothing to offer you. I don't care about that. I love him. Love is not enough to build a future honey. You need stability and security. Stability and security? I need someone who loves me and respects me. Barry can give me that. Barry, please listen to me. What else is left to hear Eliza? I told you your parents wouldn't accept me. Please, give me some time Barry. I will talk to them. I will make them understand how much we love each other. No Eliza. I don't think they will ever listen to you. We are poor, and you are rich. The world doesn't understand the value of love. Don't give up on us so easily. We can make them see. We can prove them wrong. How Eliza? Your father made it clear that he doesn't believe in me. He thinks I love you for your money. I don't want to see you suffer because of me. Goodbye Eliza. Barry. Please don't leave me. I can't live without you. Dad, I will only marry Barry. Whether you like him or not. I will not marry someone else. Eliza, don't be dramatic. I'm a businessman, and my daughter marrying a poor guy who has nothing is unacceptable. You have to forget him. You will marry the boy we chose. No dad. I can't live without Barry. I love him so much. He is a very nice boy. And he makes me happy. Mom, why don't you say something? Please tell dad that I won't marry another person. Enough is enough Eliza. Go to your room. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Dad please, listen to me. Barry is not just some random boy. He is my future. Why can't you understand that? I have already made my decision. You will marry the boy we have chosen. End of discussion. You are not even giving him a chance. You are judging him without knowing who he truly is. He loves me for who I am, not for what we have. Love does not pay the bills or give you a stable future. You need to think carefully. This is about my life and my happiness. How can you expect me to marry someone I don't love? Sometimes in life, we have to make sacrifices for the greater good. This is one of those times. I won't sacrifice my happiness for a life of misery. If you force me to marry someone else, I will never forgive you. You will do as you are told Eliza. Now go to your room. No dad. I'm not a child anymore. I deserve to make my own choices. I will never stop fighting for Barry dad. Never. <laughs>